what's happening everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome by popular demand. You guys have been asking for it. A demo, there goes my pick, a demo of the vintage tea. Guitar pick. And uh, as many of you guys know, I I've had this guitar for quite a while now and oh my God, it was just, it was instantly one of my favorite guitars. As soon as, it, it was one of those moments whenever your hand hits the neck and I'm just like, yep, yep. I didn't even need to hear it. I was like, I know, I just played it, I remember I played it like this and I just, you could feel the vibrations through it and stuff and I was like, man, they have, they have done it. Uh, I mean, it's like, it's so simple and straightforward. I love it. It's like everything I want in this T-style guitar. Now, obviously mine is heavy, heavy on the relic, which I asked for. And uh, you can see the <laughs> back is really relic. I love it. But uh, if you're not a relic person, don't worry, they can make them you know, crystal clean for you if you want to. I just, I don't know, I, the relicking thing doesn't bother me. I feel like if the aesthetics of a guitar makes you want to play it, go, what what could be wrong with it? So I absolutely love it. Now, like I said, this is the vintage tea, which I've had, you know, for months and months now, but you guys have been asking me to please do a demo over it. So I did, you heard it on all the guitars in the beginning and everything you heard was the Friedman BE50 Deluxe into uh, into the two notes, but I used some reverb, and uh, sometimes there were some modulations, you know, in there in the beginning, and then the outro solo. That was all the H9, getting those, you know, kind of more crazy effects going. But you know, let's spec it out real quick, and I want you guys hear some tones. But uh, very simple, alder body. Uh, I went, I hardtailed it. You could get a trim if you wanted to, but uh, I'm really, really digging hardtail stuff right now. And uh, bolt-on neck, of course. It's got a hard rock maple neck. Uh, mine has a bird's eye fingerboard, so no skunk stripe needed. It's a two-piece neck. Uh, vintage locking tuners, all their body. Like I said, I basically told them give them the give it the boots, and uh, you know I think they did a fantastic job. Like I, I when I look at this thing, I'm sorry, it's kind of dirty right now. Probably should, probably should have cleaned it. But when I look at this guitar, I just want to play it. And that's what it really comes down to. Uh, some of the some of the cooler accoutrements is the uh, the uh, uh, what's it called the truss rod adjuster right down here. They have the actual uh, basically pins that Grover started putting in these guitars, and it just locks that neck in. And I think that's you know when you combine it with a hardtail body, those um, steel dowels that he's putting in here to lock that neck in even more. It's, it's tough to beat, it, it rings. Uh, it rings really, really well. Like I said, you can literally feel the vibrations coming off this thing, it just resonates so well. And what else, I would say it's also plecked, which uh, I have my Friedman Cali right over there, which was also plecked. These are the first two guitars I've ever had plecked. And I think that's part of what makes them, they just, they play themselves, you know? But there's still like this, it's hard to explain. There's like this tension in like a good way for the guitar. <laughs> It's got a, a pretty big neck on it. You know, if you like fatter necks, I know they can put smaller necks on here if you want them, but um, I dig it. And the the uh, the maple actually has some pretty nice, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that, some pretty nice flame going through it. I always say, I love figuring on the back of the neck because it's only for the player. You're the only one who really gets to see that. So it's kind of like for you, you get to look at that. And you know what, man, they just built what, as I said, it instantly became one of my favorite guitars the second I played it. And uh, I couldn't be more happy with this guitar. So, um, one of the most compound radius neck. I think that's pretty much it. If you guys want to, you know, get all spec crazy, that link is below in the description. But uh, let's hear the dang thing. So like I said, uh, Vintage T. Oh, these are the actual Friedman P90s, the classic P90s. And uh, I love these P90s. I'm actually replacing the Bridge P90 in my gold top with this P90 right here. So uh, anyways, guitar into Friedman B Deluxe. You'll be hearing the clean side, which is the Buxom, Buxom Betty, the BE side and the HBE side. And I just have some reverb, no delays, none of that stuff, just rock and roll. Into the two notes, of course. So let's hear it with the good old BE side. So this is just kind of the main rhythm section of that song you heard. Uh, fortunately, I can't play other people's riffs anymore. You heard that, and there's octaves, and then there was also a chorus on there. Maybe. So you, 
can hear, that's just the bridge. You got your middle position, which I also had on that intro. So basically what you heard on the intro was one guitar down the middle with chorus on it, one guitar panned left up high, which was actually, uh, and then one guitar down here. I think the one down here might have been the one that was in middle position. But, you know, you heard a bunch of different stuff. So the middle position really gets to me that, that Jimmy Page kind of sound too. I love it. the neck right here. So like I said, I've, I've got some reverb on there. Uh, let's see, a higher gain. So if you want to hear like the main lead tone, it was basically this. It did have delay and stuff on it, but I was, now this is the HB side. Listen to those P90 sing. if you want. Neck position. And I guess I should give you guys some clean tones, right? So here's your, your neck in action. just was. <laughs> it totally worked. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not a blues guitarist. <laughs> uh, middle position on the cleans. <laughs> Almost played a Zeppelin riff, but I caught myself. Haha, <laughs> copyright. And last but not least, bridge position clean. Guys, I think I forgot to mention that this is a nitro finish on these guitars, but um, you know, it's just such an incredible, incredible, incredible instrument. It stays in tune. I never have to tune this dang thing. Uh, I actually knocked it off the chair while I was doing this video, and it, fine. <laughs> so, uh, otherwise, other than that, man, I don't know what to say. These guitars are fantastic. If you're looking for that very traditional kind of T style, but just you know, touch of something different. Uh, I think that these guys have absolutely done it. Like I said, I, I can't walk into this room and see this guitar 
and not want to play it. So to me, that is the true testament of if you have a guitar that is really speaking to you. If you all, if you just look at it and you're like, I want to play that thing right now, even if you've been playing it for months, uh, then that's a that's a pretty good sign that you got something that you know you're going to be using a lot of. So check these out down below. As always, I will see you all on the flippity flop later. And uh, yo, we out of here. Bye, guys. Whoop.